Hello you guys, welcome back to my Chanel. Okay, so remember what happened last time with my camera? I think my camera does work. So, si sí funciona, but now it's just like zoomed in AF. Like, you guys are not this close to my face. I feel like normally you would see me like this. I feel like right now you're seeing me like this. Can you kind of see it? Look, let me just show you. Can you see how, like, I'm this far? I don't know if you could tell. I'm like a whole foot away from the mirror, but it looks like we're like in each other's face. So, um, the camera didn't get completely ruined. Like the lens works. The little foggy place is not there anymore. Pero no creo que sirve el zoom. So now I have to hold you guys like all the way out here. So I don't look ridiculous and I don't look like I'm like, hi. But anyway, you guys, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make this camera work. Before we start this vlog, I want to show you. Look at how beautiful these flowers are. Oh my God. These are some of my favorite flowers that my fiance has ever given me. So look, so let's go out. Danny brought me these flowers the other day. So it's, I think a hundred flowers, he said. And pink is my favorite color, if you guys don't know. So they're pink and white roses. And I love them so much. I wanted to put them in the vlog so I never forget. And we always have them here with each other. Hello, you guys. What's up? What's really, really good? Okay, so I actually wanted to sit down and have a conversation. I feel like we haven't had a conversation like this on my channel for a really, really long time. So this past week, la semana pasada, I actually asked you guys a couple of questions on my Instagram. Si todavía no me siguen on Instagram, you guys, I would highly suggest that you do. I'm always asking you guys like random questions about topics that come up in my head. Not that it's super entertaining or anything, but I just love getting your answers. So anyway, this week I actually asked you guys about like, I wanted to know if you live in California, how much you were paying for rent and for how big of a place. La razón por la que estaba preguntando is because, as many of you know, I'm gonna be getting married soon, yay! And when you're gonna get married, obviously you're gonna start a life together and you wanna move out to your own place. And for those of you who don't know, I actually live with my sister right now. So my sister and I rent at the place where we live and we're just kind of, my fiance and I are seeing our options as to what we wanna do in the future. So with all that being said, like me after looking at prices in different areas, I am just shocked at how expensive it is to live. <laughs> Period. O sea, el vivir cuesta caro, no? So I wanted to ask you guys what you were paying, where you were paying, so that I can kind of get an idea what different areas look like. Now, if you guys remember a couple of months ago, I actually talked about the possibility of maybe moving myself and relocating to Texas. And that idea was something I really, really considered and I really wanted to do it. But when I was considering that idea, I wasn't engaged yet. And even though I wasn't engaged, when I brought the topic up to my now fiance, he said, I don't think I could ever do that because I have family here. My Denny has grown up here his whole life. He has his family here. He's really close to his family. And I'm really close to my family too, but I thought maybe in the future I could probably relocate my mom, my sister, and I think relocating his family would be like impossible because they're all like grown adults with families and businesses and jobs here. So anyway, um, I quickly had to let go of the idea of moving to Texas or to a cheaper area that's not close to LA because family, right? I wanted to show you guys what some of the people said when I asked them where they were renting. Now I asked cuánto están cobrando for rent because if you're paying for your mortgage and please feel free to comment down below where you're living, how much you're paying and how big your space is. The only difference is that if you're renting, okay, if you're buying and you bought a house like more than 10 or even seven years ago, your mortgage is gonna be a lot cheaper than anything that we're gonna be finding at the current time. So just take into consideration, California is more expensive at Webo because it's California. Number two, if somebody's paying a mortgage that they've had for more than five to 10 years, their mortgage is also gonna be cheaper. So there's a lot of factors that go into this, but I want to show you guys a little bit of what people say. 
So this person, these are, I only screenshotted a couple of them. I wish I would have screenshotted more, but I'm just gonna give you this an example. So this person said they're paying 2,800 for a four bedroom, two bath in Inglewood, but everything is going up. When we say LA, we mean all of LA County. Like if you're from LA, you know that you can say LA and you can live in Inglewood. You can say LA and you can live like basically anywhere. Like I can live in Long Beach and still say I'm in LA area, right? So Inglewood is actually really close to LA. So you're paying a little more. This price is actually unheard of. And another thing that happens is when you're renting, you have what's called a rent cap. So let's say that I start renting in this place and they're charging me 1800. If I have a rent cap, they can't put my rent up year by year, but the majority of places don't really have that unless you live in a lower income area. Another thing to take into consideration is if you live in a good safe area, you're gonna be paying more money. Uh, it's not to say, I'm not gonna say what area is good or what area is bad or anything, but I have lived in not so good areas and I have lived in better areas. And unfortunately, California is a place where there is a lot of crime. There is a lot of homelessness. There's a lot of places that might not be the safest to raise a family in, um, you know, with the gang violence, with the gun violence that we have here in California. There's just a lot, it's a lot of things, right? So that was one example. Another example was in Fullerton, California for one bedroom, this person's paying $1,700 and Fullerton is OC, but it is a little bit of a nicer area. And of course, every area has their good and bad areas. Here, this person said, my, my in-laws have a house in Riverside and they pay 800 for four bedrooms and two ba bathrooms and they built a studio in the back. Now, this is what I mean when I say this is unheard of. You guys, $800 for a four bedroom house, unless they put a big amount of money down, this house was bought 10 years ago at huevo, especially if they got it around the time of like the 2008 crash market. It's unheard of to have something like this. So. These are the kind of people who bought at the right time. Of course, at this time I was what, 20 years old. I couldn't have afforded to buy a house at that time. And the majority of us were too young or we didn't have enough money to get a house. And a lot of us also had parents who had just migrated to this country. And of course our parents didn't know how to buy a house or they didn't have the money to buy a house. So if you're one of those people who actually had the opportunity and the income and the knowledge on how to buy a house when the 2008 market crash happened, congratulations. Like that is a huge, huge blessing. Here this person said they paid, they paid for a three bedroom and one bath, 3,100 in Anaheim. I thought Anaheim was a good area, but I got some messages telling me that it's really not that nice. It, it all depends. But basically what I'm trying to get is $1,000 per room in the LA Orange County area is basically what you're looking at nowadays. Like nowadays for a three bedroom, two bath, if you're starting to rent, it's going to be looking like $3,000 and above. Now, I also went into the topic and I asked you guys, if you felt comfortable sharing, do you rent or own? And 65% of you guys said that you rent, but only 35% people, 35 of people said they own. This is really interesting. When you look at my analytics, the majority of my viewers are between the ages of 24 to 35. So we're kind of early Gen Zers, late millennials, but it just speaks about the crisis that most of us can't afford to live oh my god we cannot afford to live here in california and the last question i asked you guys was do you live in a multi-family home now the reason why i asked this is because a lot of the people who i know who personally have four homes or they can afford to rent these properties they live with multiple families in one house so for example They'll be like the mom and the dad, and then the oldest daughter will move in her husband in, and then they'll have a kid, and then the middle child will still live there, but they will give money for the rent, and then the youngest child will give a little bit less for the rent. And what I mean by this is like, it is so expensive to live here in California that a lot of people have multifamily homes, which is when you see a bunch of cars parked outside because you have like four or five adults living in one household there's nothing wrong with that if that's how you can make ends meet you guys when we first moved into this country we literally lived in a room we lived in a room for a long long time before my mom can get us a one-bedroom apartment and then she got us a two-bedroom apartment and then that's when i when my sister and i started uh, giving her money for the rent so that we can help her out 
So even now, when I moved out, I was 28 when I moved out because that's when I could afford to do so. And I couldn't afford to get an apartment by myself. A one bedroom apartment goes for $1,500 here in the LA area again. And for a two bedroom at the time, I think they were charging us like 1,900. So I told my sister like, hey, why don't we just go half and half and we get a bigger apartment, we move out together, you pay $800, is that, yeah, right? You pay $800, I pay $800, and then we can make it work like that because I couldn't have seen when I would be able to afford to live on my own with the way in which the prices are, right? So we ended up moving out. After my car got stolen, we thankfully got blessed with the opportunity of finding this house. Now we weren't looking for somewhere to live. Somebody who we know was able and told us like, hey, uh, I bought a house. I would love for you guys to live in it. This is how much I'm charging you guys. And this was a huge blessing, you guys. We paid more than we did at the apartment. But thankfully, this is still affordable between my sister and I. And the thing is, a lot of people are not finding places to live. Like, it's just crazy to me. Like, I was literally thinking about it yesterday on my story. And so many of you guys replied. And I basically said how, like, if you want to own or rent here in California, you are going to basically have to either have roommates, be rich AF, which a lot of us are middle class to lower middle class, or we're going to have to move out of the state. So when I talked about that, a lot of people from Texas and Arizona, which is two of the top states where Californians move to, a lot of you guys were saying how you don't want us to move to your states anymore, how you're tired of California coming in, like racking up the home and the rent prices, because something that we don't talk about enough is how here in California, minimum wage, I believe is 15 or $16. Let's look up minimum wage in Texas. Oh shoot. Okay, so Texas minimum wage is $7.25 what the hell i could definitely see why texans are pissed that californians are moving over there because yeah they're right like if you are if you have your own business like for myself i'll put myself as an example i have my own business i can work from anywhere in the country and if i was to leave california and go live in texas i could afford a home that someone making 725 an hour could probably not afford so i i don't know you guys like this is so insane like a lot of people are obviously moving out of the country i mean out of the country a lot of people are obviously leaving california because it's cheaper to go to states states like texas and arizona but then when you get there i'm assuming you also take a pay cut or what are the majority of people doing like of course, if you take if you can leave with your California wages and or like have a home over there, it makes sense. But if you take a pay cut when you go to those states, isn't it the same thing? I don't know that I have like a final point for you. I really don't. Like I don't have an answer. Uh, my fiance and I we still don't know what we're gonna do. We don't know where we're gonna live because the possibility of staying here in this house and him moving in here is very much possible because when you have basically the earlier you start renting or the earlier you start earning property or paying for property the better your prices are going to be prices in homes are going up price rent prices are going up inevitably so the fact that i've been living here for a year now gives us an advantage than if we move into another place a year from now or whenever i don't know if any of you guys can relate or if any of you guys are having this issue uh, if you and your partner recently bought a home or started renting, definitely leave me some tips down below. How did you do it? Um, how? What do you do for work? Where are you living? We're just trying to stay within the LA area for affordable pricing, but it seems like the majority of us Californians are also getting pushed out because it's insane time to be looking for your own place to live like it really is so crazy and i feel like a lot of us are going through this and maybe some of you can give me some tips or maybe some of you can relate where do you live how big is your place how much do you pay do you rent or own and when did you buy your place or start renting in your place as always we're all trying to figure it out and i just love to hear feedback from you guys because we're all doing this together at the end of the day we're all in very similar situations the majority of people who watch my channel were all immigrants who came to this country to try and better our lives and try to look for a better life for us and now that i'm the adult like now that i'm thinking about starting a family and setting up roots somewhere with my partner 
it's just crazy like it doesn't feel like it was this hard when parents of my friends say like oh we bought three houses when we got married how the hell did you buy three houses how i don't understand i really don't understand so yeah you guys that's gonna be it for me i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down below i'm looking forward to them las quiero mucho 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 que dios las bendiga quiérete mucho respetate más and i'll see you in the next video bye